Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Feared Angel. We're back with more Star Wars Order Public Jedi Consular. And you might notice. Oh, what is that? Oh my god, what is this new companion? Oh! This is HK51. This is the droid I talked about a lot in my Bounty Hunter walkthrough, where you basically have to go through a long ass thing and you have to scour the galaxy to par for parts and you have to create them. And you have to be level 50 to get them. So. Like I said out of my Bounty Hunter, I said I was going to record myself getting HK-51, but whenever I started doing it, it was very long, so I just decided not to do that. It was very long and very boring. Um, so basically, yeah, I did the quest to get him on, uh, on, um, on Feared Angel, and, uh, that took, that took about all day for me to do, and, um... So I got him on there, and he is freaking amazing. I'll, I'll talk about him here after I'm done talking about this. So after you get him, though, you can buy him with either 300 um, cartel points, which is just like $5. I mean, come on. Or you can buy with a million credits. So, yeah, I went ahead and bought him with $5 on this character um, because he is amazing. Uh, basically, he's extremely unique. So he is only... A damage plank. Every other character that we've ever gotten and that you ever get is either like damage, healer. They're 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 two of one of these three: healer, tank, or damage. So they're either like a tank and damage, uh, tank and heal. Which I think there's only one, and that's Treek. Uh, heal or damage and stuff like that. Or they're damage. Actually, there is just damage one, isn't there? I think there is just damage ones. What am I talking about? No, no, no. I Oh yeah, there is just damage ones, but anyways, yeah, he doesn't have any stance. Basically, his whole bar is filled with moves that do damage or something, and he is just amazing. Um, the only problem is, before I talk about his moves, okay, before I talk about his moves, um, whenever you buy him on a lower character, he, he, he comes with level 50 gear, and he can't use that if he's not level 50, so I'm level 37, so basically I couldn't use any of his gear, so what I did, and what I read online is what normal people do, uh, normally people do is they they either buy droid gear off of the thing or they create it themselves So I basically took the week to level up cyber tech on feared angel and I made some droid armor parts And I made mods and I put the mods in the parts and I basically created all of his armor except except the his weapon and um, His thing but yeah, I've basically all of this I made myself so yes, I am very proud of it. I made this seed made by Feared Angel. It says down at there at the bottom. And uh, yeah, so and he is amazing. Look at his health. 9,000, almost 10,000. I have 6,000. He is amazing right now. I have him so buffed up. It's not even it's not even funny. Um, and he's not even the best he could be right now. But anyways, let's go through his moves. He uh, he's just he's so he's so good. So good. So basically um, he has Vanish Strike, which is charged to a distant target, and it stuns them for two seconds. So he already has a stun, which is freaking amazing. He has Rail Blast, blasts a target for moderate damage, um, and his moves do a lot of damage. Evasion Protocols, activate HK, HK51's Evasion Protocols, which drops a Divisionary per grenade and causes them to leap towards you. The primary target is stunned for two seconds, targets around HK51. So basically... That move I've seen, he throws like a bomb, like, a, it's not, it's like a smoke bomb or flash bomb or something. Um, he'll usually leap towards him with Vanish Strike, and then he'll throw down Evasion Protocols immediately. So he, he flashes them, they get stunned for two seconds, and their accuracy, um, and their accuracy is reduced by 10% for four seconds, which is freaking amazing. And he'll leap towards you and get closer to you. Um, I don't know why he needs to get closer to me, but... Whatever. Um, Terminate launches a series of micro missiles at his target, dealing high damage over the duration. So he has a channel move for three seconds, and he just keeps shooting missiles, and that does a shit ton of damage. I'm not even kidding. Um, I'm going to talk about Assassinate last. We'll, we'll keep going. Hunter Killer deals very high damage to a target below 30% health. So if your target is below 30% health, he's, he, like, yeah, he will be able to do some freaking crazy ass damage. Um, Calibrated Shot shoots a target for moderate damage. Again, another shot that does damage. Uh, takes advantage of a distracted target, firing a well-placed decisive, or well-placed 
This ice of shot for extreme damage can only be used on targets impaired by inversion percades. So yeah, he does um, an amazing damage move whenever he uh, uses protocols. So it's awesome. Um, emergency protocols restores one percent of maximum health every second for fifteen seconds. Um, yeah. So basically, he can't freaking die. It's kind of like, uh, what's that, Colto, Colto something from Bounty Hunter, which basically, once you hit 35% health, if you use that, you basically can't die almost, unless something hit, one hits you. Yeah, it's, uh it's amazing. And it doesn't have, only usable once per combat. Well, so, okay, so it's only usable once per combat, but it doesn't have a cooldown, so if we get out of combat, he can immediately use it again. God, he's amazing. Stealth Suit, activate HK-51 Stealth Generator, uh, dramatically reduces threat to all of his targets, so basically that's just... Um, basically, he can go stealth and he won't be attacked. So yeah, assassinate. This is his best move. Um, takes takes careful aim at a target, strong, standard, or weak enemy. Okay, so it can only be like the silver guys and below. So it can't be like the elites. But still, it's amazing. Deals mortal damage, requires and consumes five stacks of target eliminated. Only usable out of combat, target eliminated stacks are gained when HK assists in defeating an enemy. So basically, whenever he kills an enemy in combat, he gets a stack of, uh, or he gets one stack of target eliminated, and it stacks up five times, and he has to get five of them to be able to use this move. And I can't use it during combat, it has to be used, like, before combat, but still, it's amazing. Um, and it one-shots an enemy of strong or lower. So that's freaking amazing. He is by far the best damage companion in the game. I'm not even kidding. If you have a level 55 or a level 50, and if you have a level 50, you might need a little help, but 55 can easily solo, solo some of it, or all of it except the two instances that you need to do. Um, yeah, I recommend you do this quest. You should have it you should get the quest from something. It's either on your ship or on the fleet. But yeah, I recommend you get this guy. And he's amazing. So he was definitely worth the f the the day wasted and the five bucks. He He's amazing. And the fact that I have him over-geared right now. I haven't, I haven't even tested him yet. I can't wait to test him. I am so excited. Um, also, he's not like Treek. With Treek, you had the opening cutscene with Treek, and it was all over after that. Like, basically, you got Treek, and you did, like, you talked to her once, and then after that, she doesn't have any dialogue ever again. Like, any story dialogue. With him, he does have story. He's, like, you're his master. He calls you master, and he just wants to kill things all day. And he, like the other people, the more you raise his affection, you'll, you can't, um, I think there's, like, seven or eight things per companion, and uh, they will basically be, you'll, you'll unlock, s like, story quests for that companion every so often you raise their affection, like that little bar there, and uh, so he actually has uh, companion missions, story missions for himself, so that's freaking awesome. Um, also... I did buy Treek on this character, I said screw it, and if I got HK-51, I might as well go all out and buy Treek again. So I spent $25 this weekend to get Treek again, because I didn't want to... To buy him again, just using credits like I was wanting to, um, you have to have level 40 legacy, and that will take forever. And then you have to have 300,000 credits, which isn't that much, but... Um, it's the level 40 legacy that you need that was crazy. So we're going to go ahead and go get Treek. I don't think I'm going to be using Trick that much. I'm definitely going to be using HK a lot, because he is new. Um, so do expect a lot of HK-51. Um, so we're going to go get Trick, and then we will be done, basically. Or, yeah. And then we, we can continue on our quest, so... Yeah, I'm really liking my consular because I've bought him so much stuff. <laughs> oh, and I can't wait to try out HK-51 on Hoth. Oh, it's going to be great. It's going to be freaking great. Ugh, oh, can't wait. It's gonna be amazing. Activation complete. And there, he, there is his voice. Pure his voice. It's like a little nerdy robotic voice, sort of. So, yeah. And uh, I haven't talked to him yet on my ship, so we're gonna have dialogue with him once we get back to his ship. And I bought him like 
I bought him a giant sniper rifle. Like, it was like oversized sniper rifle just because I thought it was funny and it looked cool. So yeah, I basically made everything except the crystal. I didn't make the crystal that was on his gun. I had to buy that. And I had to buy the weapon and the virowife. And the ear, the implants, I bought those as well, and the ear. So, just all the major parts, though, I bought, I made myself, and all the mods that are put into the armor, I made that myself. So that's awesome. Um, now I know Treek's like a bad person on the good, or the bad side, and then I don't know if he's a good person on the good side. I don't know. I, I think it's the same exact opening cutscene, I think, for both sides. Greetings! My client has never had the pleasure of meeting a member of the Jedi Order. Such excitement! I am RA-30 of Interstellar Commandos Incorporated. I represent an especially gifted individual in the tactical security trade. Do you seek a mercenary to provide assistance with battlefield operations? I fear a mercenary might grow restless working for me. Most of my journeys are spent in pursuit of knowledge and understanding. You are too modest. The objectives you seek are frequently surrounded by horrible dangers. My employer appreciates that. I warn you in advance. There are some who find this mercenary's physical appearance unusual. However, great warriors come in all shapes and sizes. My client has fought on Terex, Nar Shada, and Ord Mantel. Most recently, she guarded commercial freighter convoys against pirate boarding parties. This mercenary must be good. Close quarters fighting aboard starships isn't easy. One stray shot can decompress an entire vessel. A fact my employer took advantage of with great success. Many pirates found themselves in hard vacuum that day. The convoy owner was pleased. Ah, here she is now. Allow me to introduce Treek. She has journeyed all the way from an exotic outer rim system in search of adventure and purpose. Hello there. Considering we've only just met, you're quite committed to forming a partnership. Treek, I look forward to having you at my side. You'll be fairly compensated for whatever trouble comes our way. I am ever so pleased you found my client satisfactory. I wish you both good fortune in your future endeavors. Good day. <laughs> and now we get Treek. Heck yeah. Is she geared for, for being level 37 or is she undergeared? Probably, yeah. Undergeared. Holy balls. Yikes. Oh well. But yeah, we got Treek. Um, I don't really know if I'm going to use her all that much this time. I did use her a lot. During um during the bounty hunter, mainly because she or her healers are freaking amazing. But I want my HK fifty one droid back Ziki, out, man. Ziki, yeah. Heck yeah. Systems ready. It's amazing. Love you, HK fifty one. Um. So yeah, we're gonna go back to our ship. I did buy rocket boosts, um, which basically is this. It's basically like a mount that you can use indoors. It gives you the hundred and ten percent, which is like the highest speed that you can go um, if you had a mount so it's basically like you're having a mount and you can use it indoors and it has Reactivation I think it's base complete. cooldown is three minutes but I bought all of the upgrades for it or decrease in cooldown so now it's only 30 every 30 seconds I can use it so basically we can go very very fast <laughs> basically um, also I think I decreased personal starship yeah it was 24 hours now it's 16 hours I'm gonna go ahead and uh, use it. Actually, I think we have to do Colicoid War Game. We not might not be able to use HK-51 just yet. I think we're gonna have to do um, these flashpoints. Actually, actually, I don't think we can do it. Yeah, we can't do it till level 39, anyways. Okay, never mind. Let's just go back to our ship. We'll do the war zones later. 
We won't even do that right now. Back to our ship.